Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the next question. Okay, so this question belongs to GATE CSE 2012 guys. Sir. Okay, so I have already recorded the question, but due to some technical issue, the audio has been not recorded. Okay, so let us continue. So the question is, uh, consider the directed graph, the gateway graph uh, shown below, in the figure below. Okay, so there are multiple shortest paths uh, from a vertex uh, S to T guys. So that is our goal. Okay, so which one of the following uh, is reported using Dijkastra shortest path algorithm. So if you observe carefully, from S to T there are various paths, right? So you can go in this way, you can go in this way, you can go in this way, you can go in this way. There are multiple paths. So among that all, what will Dijkastra algorithm will return is the question. Okay, so assume that in any iteration, the shortest path of vertex V is updated only if it is strictly shorter. So only if it is greater or lesser. So only if it is a lesser value, then you will update. If it is less than or equal to, you are not going to update. So that is the main condition here. Got it? Yes. So let us start. Okay. So let us start, guys. So please assume that the diagram is clean, guys. Okay. Yes. I thought of taking the print again, but uh, I, I want to continue with it. Okay. Yes. Anyway. Okay. Yes. So let us start. So let us start from yes, guys. So we are having from yes, right? So I think the paper cannot be shown clearly, right? So now can you see till where you can see the paper, guys? So that's important for me, right? So till here you can see. Okay. Yes. So yes, sir. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and T. Right? Yes. So let us start. Okay. So we are will be having distances and parent value. So let us initially initiate with infinities. Okay. And the parents are nil. Okay. Yes. So let me take some other color. Okay. So let us start. So we are going to start at the Yes, sir, right. So we are trying to calculate from S to T, right. From S to T, we are calculating the shortest path, like exactly what is the path. So options are in this way. Got it? Yes. So let us start. So from yes, sir, you are starting. So the initial yes value will be zero, right? Yes. And what is the parent for yes? So there will be no parent. So from yes, sir, where, where I can go, guys, I can go to A and I can go to B, right? So to A, what is the cost? It is a four. It is here, four. And for B, the cost is a 3. Okay. So now S is done, right? So I have visited S. Okay. So now S is done. So from among these two, what is minimum, guys? So B is minimum. From B, where, where I can go? I can go to D. So the, sorry, from S, I can go to D also, right? Yes. So to D also, the cost is a 7, right? Yes. So from S only, I can go to D also. So let me update the parents also. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yes. So now let us continue. So the minimum value is B. So from B, where, where I can go, I can go to D and I can go to S. Yes. So to S, yes, I can go at a cost of 6. So indirectly, it is 3 plus 3, 6. So 0 is less, right? So hence, there is no need of any updation. Similarly to D, previously the value is 7. And if you add 3 plus 4, it is also 7. So I told you it is strictly only if it is strictly less, then you will update. So it is not less. So you are not going to update. So now B is done, but there is no change in any values. I don't know why we have visited D or B also, right? Yes. Okay. So let us continue. So now we are done. So again, you are checking for minimum value. So now the minimum value will be A, right? Yes. So the value at A is a 4. Okay. So from A, you can go to C at cost 1. Okay. So with cost 1, that is 3, 4 plus 1. The cost now will be 5. And with the help of A, I am coming to C. Got it? Yes. So now the minimum value. So 5 and 7, which is minimum guys, C is minimum. So the value 5, let us write here. So let us strike it off. Okay. So from C, where, where I can go guys, I can go to D and E. So to E, I can go at a cost of 1. So 5 plus 1 is a 6. And with the help of C, I will be going there. To D, what will be the cost? So 5 plus 3 will be 8. So 7 is less. So there is no need of any updation. Done. Yes. So now the minimum value is E. Okay. So from E, where, where I can go guys, I can go to G and I can go to T. To G, I can go at a cost of 2, that is 6 plus 2 is equals to 8, and with the help of E, I am going there. Okay. Similarly, 6 plus 4 is a 10. So to T, I am going with the cost of a 10, and with the help of E, I am going there. Right? Yes. Okay. So now what is the minimum, guys? So among these all, D is the minimum. Right? Yes. So from D, where I am going, guys, I can go to E, but E is already done. Right? Yes. So from D, I can go to T and F. So to T, it is 7 plus 3, that is 10. So it is already 10, so there is no change. So from D, I can go to F. With the cost of 7 plus 5, that is 12. With the help of, what guys? With the help of D, right? Yes. Okay. So now what is the minimum? G is the minimum, right? From G, I can go to T with the cost of 3. 
at g the cost is 8 so 8 plus 3 is 11 right so there is no need of any updation so g is done so now moving on to t from t you can go to anywhere from f all are done so indirectly now we need to find from s to t right so the particular path so let us write in the reverse order so let us start at t so to t how i went guys who is the parent of t it is a e okay who is the parent of e it is a c who is the parent of c it is a a who is the parent of a it is yes so yes a c e t is the answer that is a nothing but yes a c e t is the answer it's a quite simple question so d will be the answer got it yes a c e t okay yes so now i hope everyone got a clear idea with respect to this question right yes so in the next lecture let us continue with the next question thank you thanks for watching like share and subscribe for more awesome videos like this thank you